I am the manager of GoMed Studios. And it comes to the things that I personally do is taking care of our models, you know, focusing on their growth, their evolution, their health, their mental health. So I think that I'm trying to cover most of their needs and I'm trying, you know, to uh, empower them because this is what I, I and uh, the, like the studio is trying to do to empower the girls that we're um, um, working with. That is such a powerful thing that your studio, you really want to make sure your girls are taken care of. Can you talk to me about why it's so important for you to take care of them in that way? Well, uh, I was a model as well for many years. When I'm talking about mental health is that I don't want to have models that are here only for the money because this work would tear them apart, you know? I don't want them to feel like they are used here. I want them to understand that this job is for them to get a bigger amount of money in a shorter time so they can improve and they can, you know, so they can live a better life. A sane model that understands what she's doing there, that she's entertaining other people and that she's trying to give someone else a good, you know, uh, a good uh, day, a good, I don't know, a good moment, a good hour or, or something like, or a good show, why not, you know, because it's an adult industry. And the mental health is not only for them to understand the job, but it's for them to feel empowered. I think that if you have a, a healthy inside, you'll have, you'll have a healthy outside. Absolutely. No, that's very well said. Very well said. You mentioned that you yourself were a model. And so you can kind of understand the position that they're in. Talk to me about that. Let's look at your journey. Like, how did you get started in this industry and how did it turn into what it is now? Hey, I got in for the money. They all go in for the money. We all are here because we thought that we need more money. And, and of course, everyone needs more money. But for me, it was like, okay, I can get money, but I can have fun. And after, because I was much younger back then. And I got the money, I got the fun, and after that, I started, you know, to um, to learn more from my members, to learn more because I had more money, I could afford more ex new experiences, new uh, things that improved my life. You know, I started, you know, taking care of my body, going to the gym, taking care, you know, eating better food, and these are things that you're buying with money. So I think that, okay, I started, I started for the money, but I stayed for the experience that uh, Life Jasmine gave me because I was, uh, I am a Jasmine girl and I'll always be a Jasmine girl. Um, so I think it was, okay, it was a great experience. And after that, I just, I was, you know, in the mood for a change. And it was, I didn't really wanted to quit my model job because I really loved being there, but it was something that happened, you know, one of those days when you read um, uh, or you see a commercial and you're like, hmm, what if? So I came here, I met all the cool persons in the team. So I stayed here as well because I loved, uh, I love the girls, I loved the, the um, I think I loved very much that I had the power to help someone else as well. So I stayed for that as well. Wow, that's was, incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was quite a journey, actually. <laughs> but look at you now. Well, I'm, I'm actually, I always tell my girls that um, I think that they built me, you know, they taught me so many things and I have become this this woman that I am today because of them. Okay, my my experience, my sorry, my experience helped so much. Um, and everything that led me here helped me, but the girls empowered me. So I think that this is one of the the most amazing things that happened to me, you know, being empowered by so many amazing women. Some of them stayed, some of them left, some of them changed their life or not. But I learned from everyone and 
I think that this is what I'm trying to give back, you know, the, the, this feeling that I have. Incredible. <laughs> you know, you mentioned um, that, you know, some, some models, some of the women, like their lives changed, they left, some stayed. I bet as a studio manager, you have seen a lot of models lives changed really quickly. Can you tell me a, um, a particular example or story that just stands out in your head? I have this, uh, one of the, one of my models, uh, had a very difficult childhood because she was, uh, she was one of those kids that were left, uh, behind, like her mother just gave her away. Um, and she, she started working with us like seven years, eight years ago. I'm not sure anymore. And we had the long struggle because, um, she'd only, she'd, she had some bad habits and she'd always go back to her old habits. We had a long battle, you know, with what to do and not what to do and do this and don't do this. But in the end, in the end, she got there she got there and i'm so proud of her just because she not only she did so much better than um one of the adopted kids would do you know or not adopted but left behind she did so much better she's so strong and she's so empowered and she's she's loving herself so much and she has so much love to to give like i see her she's shining she's helping other girls as well and she just i'm just surprised so surprised that a girl that didn't love anyone and had walls like you know like really tall walls and nobody could go through and now she's spreading love everywhere. So I think that not only money, because she's she made a lot of money as well, but um, this power, you know, of offering love to other people, though even though you didn't get it for yourself from your family or other people. So. so beautiful. And I mean, isn't that ultimately what this industry is about, is to give others love, right? I'm so happy that I hear you saying that right now, because, uh, um, you know, of course, it's about um not you know it's about giving love about entertaining about um and i'm happy that you know i can i can find people that think alike you know and this is what we're trying to do as well with our studio we're trying to uh show everyone you know that models are just like you just like me just like everyone you know and we have so much love to give and we should get it back, you know, and yes, the industry is about love and yes, we should focus more on, you know, convincing everyone to, to do this, to, you know, love people. To love. Yes, absolutely. That's one thing I've really, um, really, really discovered in these interviews is that the number one thing I've interviewed members, I've interviewed models, I've inter interviewed human connection experts. And the one thing that it seems like the baseline of why the members are there is connection, you know? Of course. Yes. I want to talk about your partnership with Jasmine. You said you're a Jasmine girl for life. Forever, forever, forever. Yes. Um, what benefits has this partnership really brought to the business? The business, the business had, uh, since we started focusing on Life Jasmine, we had uh, a, an enormous growth, uh, especially that uh, when we need something, Life Jasmine usually provides, you know? We have a trustful partner. We have great statistics that taught us how to work with our models, you know, it's easier to tell them go online, you have to, uh, I don't know, work for 90 hours or 100 hours and you'll get the, you know, a uh, good range on the page and you'll make a lot of money. 
but uh, having those stats, you know, and they're uh, right in front of you, if you just have to desire to work with it, because then you can, you know, um, you can upgrade like pretty much the way you're training your girls, if you're focusing on that. Beside that, um, I think that Life Jasmine empowered our studio, not only the girls, but the whole business. Um, I always found a trustful partner in them, you know, uh, every time I had questions, uh, me, my trainers, my technical team, my models, we always uh, found someone to answer, to help, to provide, um, you know, like you, you you meet a lot of situations like I I could talk like all night long about the things that you get, the thing that um, uh, we got, you know, because things changed. Uh, but one of the, the things that I love and I think that uh, Life Jasmine brings to the business, it's always change, the change, you know, because sometimes people work the same hours they do the same things even in, in our industry we do the same things every day we come to the office or because they come to the studio they go to their rooms so you have pretty much the same thing however with the life jasmine you always get a new face from time to time you get new challenges it's the challenge that you get you know to start working differently learn more um invest in different things because you're just trying, you know, to to be in the in the best team ever. So I think it's the challenge and the growth and the money and the fun and everything. I love that. So it sounds like it pushes you to evolve. Amen to that. They're pushing me. <laughs> there with the pushing part. Now you've been a model yourself, and now you're a studio manager. What advice would you have for a woman or a man who wants to get in the industry, but they're not sure if they want to work with a studio? What advice would you give them and why should they or why should they not? People aren't made to live in, um, in, you know, in caves. You need, you know, like if we go back like many years ago, like a lot of years ago, uh, you'd see that one person would meet another person and they decide to have a tribe, you know, you cannot be on yourself because it's, first of all, you need someone to share the things that happen to you every day. So you need the studio. If you want to have those friends that understand what you're dealing with, you know, the second reason, uh, I think that most of the models that are going for the independent situation or they want to be on themselves that they're like okay but i'm earning um i'm earning one thousand dollars and i'm not sharing with the studio okay you're getting one one thousand dollars okay but with a studio like you're getting a, a large uh piece of the of the pie but you're getting a little portion of the money so with a studio, okay, you can get a smaller amount of the pie, but you're gonna get, you know, uh, 60, 70, 80% out of, I don't know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. And the things that I am going through with so many models every day are, you know, we have this experience and we know this kind of things, you know? So you will never be able to learn as fast as we are moving on yourself you know i'm just giving you all you have to know so you can learn to make money fast and the third reason is that the things that i'm getting you know from a site that i'm working with it's you know i'm getting a different attention i'm getting a different support i'm getting a different uh, kind of i don't know i'm getting different stat stats statistics okay so and i know how to work with them already so i think these are the three main reasons why i'd go for a studio um and also the the summit and the parties and you know <laughs> those as well because they're important um or you know maybe you you're, you're trying you know to um buy yourself a house you know it's different when 
you have a studio that is helping you with this kind of stuff, you know, with the legal stuff. And there, you know, well, we have, I don't know, lawyers that can help you with this or uh, an accountant that can tell you how to uh, address to the bank or how to get those money. Or there are many things that a studio can do for you as so you will not have to struggle on yourself. It's like getting, you know, um, someone that wants to help you, you know, because as a studio, you have the same purpose as the model at all times, you know, you want the money, the model wants the money, everyone wants the pie. Um, when it comes to, okay, and this is a great question. Okay, and when it comes, why not go to a studio? This is a um well maybe if you have some maybe if you're uh, you're you, you know that you're uh, not lazy but you're not as active you're not as serious you're not ready to a commitment maybe you shouldn't go to a studio because then you'll get frustrated that team will get, will get frustrated you know it's very important to think like and and be serious when you're thinking like why should i go to a studio you know treat this like a real job and maybe if you're not ready for this maybe you shouldn't go to a studio that makes sense so it's like if you're ready to make this a career and take it seriously a studio is good to be if you're not quite there yet maybe it's not i had this 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 talk with this girl that uh got a breast implant and she was very disappointed that she's not making more money. And I was like, okay, you're just a sad girl with two bags on her chest, you know? You know, just, the, you did that for yourself to become more confident, you know, have more the ja 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 or how you call it, you know, the, the come here thing. So if you're just standing like that and just touching your phone and you're looking into your phone and you're angry and waiting for someone to come and just take you in private, it ain't gonna happen and nobody will care. However, if you just, you know, take care of your members and you're fun and you have something to say other than, um, you know, let's go to private, then I think that, I think that you have to make sure that you're not uh, only focusing on let's go to private baby. Not right now, for example. You, yeah, absolutely. Like you said, bringing in that joy, that zest for light. That's okay. Well, that brings me to my next question. You've been a model. You have experience as a, a studio manager. In your eyes, what is the basic thing? What are the members truly looking for? Someone with life. I, I like okay uh i actually did we we here we make a lot of tests you know so sometimes girl ask me oh why did he go am i not good enough am i, I and i'm like just go and ask them you know go and ask them what brings you here what what is your craving what do you like the most i don't know stuff and one of them said and i loved his answer well, I'm looking for someone that looks alive, you know, and amen to that because he was so right, you know, someone that looks alive. And I like how you said, you know, life, like that life energy, energy um, exactly. because I, yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's, it's almost like a geisha, you know, and, and their job was to bring beauty and pleasure. How much does authenticity play the role in a model's success? Being true to herself and her natural personality, as opposed to thinking, oh, wow, this model is really successful and she's like this. So I'm just going to imitate that. Um, great question. I don't think that uh, trying to be uh, a replica of a model would, will, will bring a success, not at all. I always tell them, you know, just not do you, you know, be true to yourself. And our my, my, my trainers are doing the same thing, you know, just because I think it's first, it's not healthy, you know, uh, trying to be someone else. Uh, and I think that it will um, 
get you tired really fast. You know, I think it's it's exhausting trying to be someone that you're not. So beside, you know, um, making sure that the girls aren't giving their personal info, like really personal info, we're, you know, we're saying to them, uh, just say as you please, do as you please, um, make sure that everything that you're doing that there is making you comfortable, you know, don't force yourself into any weird privates. We're really, we're really trying to make them feel loved and nurtured, you know, and not like ATMs. Beautiful. I mean, like you, you said at the start of the call, um, you guys really focus on making sure that the models are well taken care of because if they are loved and nurtured, then that means that they're going to be able to love and nurture the members, which makes this whole industry go round, <laughs> you know? Amen to that. Yes. Have you seen the industry change in a more positive way throughout the years? Yes. Actually, I love our industry a lot, a lot. I think that the person, like I've met so many incredible persons in, in, in this industry. Like um, my best friend is Modalina from Charm Studio. Um, and I have uh, or leave you from from Gloria or Maria from best and they're all my, my my best friends in the world, you know, and they're like people that um, got close to my heart. I know that in other industries, people are more, you know, um, trying to steal their, you know, customers or their businesses, but here not we just help a lot. Uh, each other and that's 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 amazing you know one of the most amazing things that I have learned uh, from our industry is that you can be friends with the pe people that you're competing with you know best friends because that with all will only make the business the industry grow you know so I think that um, we have evolved because um, I'm, I, I see that now the big studios, you know, are trying to teach the smaller studios. They're great as a, an industry. And I think that other people should learn from us because we stick with each other, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's like a win-win mentality. And just because someone else has some success doesn't mean that their success is taking away from yours. And, and the more that the industry itself prospers and does well, the more everyone's going to do well. So exactly. if you can lift each other up in the long run, it will help the entire cause, the entire industry. So exactly. yeah, I love that. <laughs> Me too. Honestly, I really love it because I see that the new things, the new ideas, the new things that actually like Jasmine implements, you know, come from our side, you know, because we talk a lot and we are like, we should ask for this or this, or we need this, or we need that. And somehow we join our ideas, we join our uh, needs, our problems, and we get a better result as a bigger team, you know? My final question for you would be, what is it that you love the most about what you do? Being able to change someone's path in life. I think that this, it's, it's big, you know, being able to guide someone through life. So. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for this interview and for giving us your time. Thank you so much for uh, having me. And um, thank you so much for, you know, uh, having this, this beautiful energy to share with me. So thank you for this as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. It was my pleasure.